Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can use Oracle Cloud's Generative AI services. First step, go to cloud.oracle.com and sign in with your email account. If you don't have an existing account, all you need to do is to sign up and you will get some free credits. Once you lo logged into your account, then normally the Oracle's Generative AI services are within Analytics and AI. So click on this sandwich icon on the top left. From here, you can click on anal analytics and AI. And then on the right hand side, you can see that there are a lot of AI services and they have classified it into language, speech, vision, document understanding, anomaly detection and digital assistant. Let's click on language. And you can see on top right that I am in the Sydney region, which is Australia East. And you need to select region accordingly now on this dashboard there are a lot of things which are happening in the left hand side you can see that you can do text analytics or text translation and then you can also create your own custom models now within the pre-trained models you can see that we have a lot of use cases where we can do language detection classification sentiment analysis key phrase extraction and then a lot of other stuff and if you want to just do uh, translation and, uh, and this translation is SOTA translation which is state of the art translation which uses machine um, uh, neural machine networks on the back end. So let's see how we can do the translation. So click on start translation and then you need to select your compartment. And I already have my root compartment. So on the left hand side, you can select either root compartment or if you want, you can go with any other compartment of your choice. Now you can see that for the text translation, you have source language on the left hand side and tar target language on the right hand side. And if I select the target language, there are heaps of languages which are available. And same is the case with your source language. And they already have put it in for some of the stuff. And all you need to do is to click translate and then it is going to translate this English text into this French text. And that is how easy it is. So let's wait for it to come back with the results. There you go. So fairly quick and then you can copy it from here and then use it in your own application. Now if you want to do text analytics then on the left hand side click on text analytics and from there for example they have already populated this text to analyze. And from there you can uh, do English or you can choose any other language. But as we are using English in this text, then it has detected English. Or if you have text in any other language, it can also auto detect. And then click on analyze. Let's wait for it to come back. And if you scroll down, it has put in some results. So it says pre-trained language detection that is English and this is the score and i think this is similarity cosine which is the evaluation matrix and text classification again it has classified the text into environment and ecology um, the score is also still high above 80 which is good and from here it is doing the name entity recognition and if you don't know what name entity recognition means just click on this icon it shows that it means identifies and categorizes text entities as people places organization or quantities and you can see that Antarctic is location uh, sun is location and then this methyl bromide is product and discovered is some sort of event I'm not sure if it is right but anyway NASA is organization so pretty cool you you can see and then it is doing the keyword um, extraction the important word which it uh, which it thinks that uh, quite important and then there is sentiment analysis happening and you can see that no aspect is detected because it's a, it has a neutral tone and yeah it, you can see that it it has just said it, it's neutral and then if you click on sentence 11 sentiment again almost all of the sentences are uh, neutral uh, tone and then it is doing some PII or personal identifiable information it, it hasn't found anything but some of the dates are there which it is considering and you can say that it is a false alarm because these dates are all public so nothing really um, 
something sensitive about it now this is just a quick overview of this gen ai services um, which, you, which you can do in this oracle cloud which we have seen text translation text analytics and these are all pre-trained models you can have your own custom models and then you can build projects on it and in the next video i'll be showing it uh, how to do it so that's it for this video this was just a quick overview of oracle cloud gen ai services in the subsequent videos i'll also be showing you how you can use api from your own code in order to access the hosted models on oracle cloud infrastructure in the gen ai i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network thanks for watching